Howdy, howdy, howdy. Surreal Canine here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, uh, we went back to Izzy's childhood. When she was just a little Ligley buff. She's kind of bouncy. <laughs> we met a retired explorer, Jack Van Brace, the Armaldo, and we're gonna uh, go exploring the. Uh... Chipotle. <laughs> we're gonna go explore Chipotle. No, we're exploring Eastern Cave. Let's go. Oh, Izzy! Izzy, I heard you went exploring with the bullies. Is it alright? Yeah, that was fine. Put one pole in the middle of it. Switches, that's good. We're worried about you. Hey Izzy, let's play together today. Mm, sorry, I've already got plans for today. Plans? Where are you going? Murky Forest. What? Murky Forest? Yep, see you later. Hey, Izzy, were you okay after that? Yep. I can't believe you got away. I thought maybe you got eaten by that monster. What monster? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, a friend. A friend? Yep, a friend. I'm headed out to play with my friend again today. See ya! to be impatient. Before exploring, you have to make sure you're well prepared. Prepared? Yes. Look at this. What? What's this? This is called a Kangskull Lot. Here you can make a record of your adventure and sort your items. It's something you shouldn't pass up on your explorations. Really? Oh, hey! Stop hitting it like that. Anyhow, you can go ahead and use any items you find to Kangskull Rock as you see fit. So... Let's use this to finish preparations for our adventure. Yep, got it! So yeah, uh, we got access to all our stuff here. Uh, let's see, what can we stash? Mm, I guess we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Huh? Junior, did you finish getting ready? Yep! Alright. Alright, let's go. Looking for a treasure in Eastern Cave. Got it, Junior? You're just a beginner when it comes to exploring. Don't be so impertinent and don't hold me back. Yep. Uh, another song from the uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team. This one is from the Buried Relic. So, yeah, we've got Jack on our team. He's level 28, a bug and rock type. Uh, not quite sure what moves he has on him. So, yeah, uh, Whiskash is a, I think, water and ground type. Ooh. Ooh, thanks. Uh, yeah, Jack, you deal with this guy. I kind of took a nasty hit there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Uh, Ninkata is, I think, a pure bug type. Could be wrong about that. Let's see here. That's better. Oh, hey there, guy. Okay. So yeah, Eastern Cave is ten floors long. So uh, this shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Okay, 
Ross Ferry. Okay. Yep, another Whiskash. Whiskash is the evolved form of Barboach, by the way. What we got here? Petrify or that might come in handy. Special Band might come in handy for uh, for Jack here, since uh, Izzy is all physical. Whoops. Yeah, let's see here. I can give it to him. Okay. Okay, might as well use the sea trap orb. There appear to be no hidden traps, huh? Okay. Jack, were you the one to set those traps in Murky Forest? <laughs> oh! Um, I just got oh. <laughs> well then. Uh, that means a failed exploration. Ugh, that was pretty tough. I'll have to try it again. Yep. We still got time today. Let's prepare for our exploration and make another try at Eastern Cave. Oh! Well, we still got most of our apples. Or, most of our items. <laughs> most of our apples. Uh... Yeah, let's just go. There wasn't really much I could uh, do in anticipation of that magnitude 10. That was just a lucky shot. Ah. You. I want that reviver seed, and now you're gonna use it on yourself when I find you. Mind Reader uh, guarantees a hit on your next attack. It's one of a couple of moves that does that. Astonish is a ghost type move, which means uh, it's not going to be doing very much to Izzy here, who, uh, this being Generation 4, is still a normal type. These uh, Iron Thorns might come in here. So yeah, Water Gun and Metal Claw seem to be uh, Jack's uh, Jack's attacks here. He does not have a little wind mouse to help him out. <laughs> Still have to finish Wild Arms at some point. It's a nice RPG. Person ban. Ooh, stamina ban suppresses hunger. We are probably going to want to uh, put that in storage as soon as we can. <coughs> of course, the uh, tight belt removes uh, hunger from the equation entirely, I think. Fury swipes. How rude. Yay, I leveled up. So, uh, yeah, you can see Izzy's stat growths are kind of insane. <laughs> She's definitely a prodigy. What do you have to say, Jack? Yeah, you can keep up? Alright. Let's go for it. Ooh, a gravel rock. Pretty cool.
I drop C, and that will come in handy. Probably, I mean, I'm not even sure if there are any traps in this dungeon. There are, okay. Not that I've seen any yet. Zen Headbutt, a, psychic, a physical psychic type move. Sleep Powder uh, is pretty likely to put everyone around you to sleep. Destroy all diglets. Another Insomniscope, uh, that's a thing. What do we have here? Hunger Seed, don't want that. Max Elixir, don't I already have... I have one. That's probably enough for our needs, all things considered. No, oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> oh, there's a sleep trap. You can't talk right now. Got to uh, stall until he wakes up, I guess. Constrict. Apparently, uh, it does damage and causes slowness. I think it's a normal type move. Even though if it's being done with vines. Magic Harp is, uh, kind of dumb. It's a water type, uh, at low levels they can't even do anything besides use Splash. Which might cause damage if they land on you, but it's like 5 HP. attention and I got sand attack. That's a pain. Hope we find a one that eh, stairs are good too. Okay, last floor. And the stairs are right here, so let's pick up an apple and uh, claim our prize. We've come pretty far. Treasure I wonder where it is. Oh, can you see that light over there? Let's go check it out. Oh no, we're playing Drawed! Or Zelda, or something. Wow, this is so amazing! Are those companion cubes? <laughs> they look like it. I think the treasure's past that door, don't you? Hurry, let's go, let's go! Wait, Junior! What? Didn't you notice the design of this room? Look carefully. There's some kind of trick to it. Trick? Yes. Pretty sure there will be treasure behind that door, but the trouble is we need to figure out how to open that door. Look above the door. You see that symbol that looks kind of like an eye? I think if we put some kind of rock or something in there, something will probably happen, but there's these giant logs on both sides. And all these little openings in the floor have caught my attention. That pillar over there, and a weird switch along the groove. If we move that pillar along that track on top of the switch on the floor, something's gonna happen. This is a pretty common layout. This kind of trap is usually easy to identify. And these spikes here on the wall. Look at them, they definitely caught my attention. What's this crystal here? If you hit this crystal, something's gonna happen. The crystal's color will probably change and something will come up from the floor or something. I think that's how it works. And this. It looks like this contraption is important somehow. It's pretty suspicious to find such a puzzling thing in a place like this. The more I think about it, the more it seems someone has gone to an awful lot of trouble to keep people out. 
takes a trained eye to spy out all these ingenious devices. See? So we should go around and try everything! No! That might prevent the door from ever opening. There are traps, too. Is that so? I see. Anyway, this room is full of dangers. We really need to proceed with caution here. Yep, got it! Yay! Uh, what? You ta! She just smashed the door. <laughs> what the? Hurry, let's go! What in the world is this kid? Hey, hurry! Got it. <laughs> uh, let me think. It's only been 15 minutes, so no, we are not gonna save. Oh! There's a treasure chest over there. Hey, open it and see! Hurry, hurry! Jack opens the treasure chest. Inside was a defend globe. This is... Wow! So cool! What is this? This is a defend globe. A defend globe? Yay! Yay! Oh, it's very valuable. It's a very hard to find item. It's an exclusive item for bug type Pokemon. Hey! Aren't you listening to what I'm saying? It's alright, I heard you. I don't really understand, but it's really cool! We did it! <laughs> even know to value this item, but she's just so ridiculously happy. We did it! We did it! Yay! Hmm. She showed a powerful intuition in getting that door open earlier. This kid is... Yay! Yay! <laughs> this kid, I don't really get her personality. She radiates an unknown, unfathomable quality. I'm guessing this kid has an amazing natural talent or something. For explorers, this is an unbelievable advantage. Hey, exploring is so much fun! I had no idea! Oh well, yeah! Master! Master? Me? Yep, that's right! The Exploration Master! Master, I have a request! Please, please take me on as your apprentice! I... apprentice? Uh, no, I'll pass! I, I don't really see myself taking care of someone else as an apprentice. And besides, I quit exploring. It's too late for me to do anything like that. But today you came out on this exploration, didn't you? You did, didn't you, Master? Uh, this is the first time I've had so much fun. It's like I've changed somehow. I want to keep exploring. Uh, that is, I'd like to keep exploring. Please, take me on as your apprentice, Master. Master, please. Wow, she's even kneeling on the floor. She's sure intent on this request. Or she's so round, it's hard to tell if she's really kneeling or not. I <sighs> shouldn't do. It'd be extremely risky if I were to start exploring as part of a team again. This kid has so much potential, it's amazing. I'd love to see just how far this kid could go as an explorer. Being together is a little annoying, but I have another feeling as well. It's really caught my attention. I think I could start exploring again as long as it was with her. Alright. I got it. You can be my apprentice. Really? But my training is very strict. If you don't go along with me, then we're through. Yay! I did it! Thank you! Yay! 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 <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. Right? And so, Master recognized me as his apprentice. And he returned to being an explorer. And so, Master and I went out on explorations together. I'm looking forward to you taking care of me, Master. Taking care of you. Uh, hey, wait! What you're acting, I don't know if we'll be doing anything together. Don't be so strict, Master. <laughs> How are we gonna be an exploration team if you start off acting like this? Hey! <laughs> she is pretty happy. I've had so much fun since Master took me on as an apprentice. Okay, I'm off. See ya. Take care. I would head off to Master's house as soon as I got up after, uh, soon after I got up every morning. We would open up the map and look for a place to explore. Hey, Master, let's explore this place today. 
This place labeled the end of the world! <laughs> Come on, there's no way we could go to such a place. We decide where to go together like two old friends, and then head out exploring right away. Wow! Treasure! Treasure! Don't be so happy-go-lucky, there might be a trap. Wah! Master! Master? Master! It's alright, I can rescue him later. <laughs> Master and I made a great team and we found a bunch of treasure. Just like that, we went on one successful exploration after another. Then, a few months later, sorry, had to uh, say something to Fox there. Wow, amazing! There's so much treasure, Master! Alright, let's take it all back with us. Alright! She's really something, this kid. We've been exploring together for a while. I've never seen anyone with a natural sense for exploring like she has. I'm sure. I'm sure that this kid is some kind of exploration prodigy. Master, what are you doing? Hurry! Hurry! Yeah, I'm on my way. We found a lot today, didn't we? <laughs> success! Success! Hey, Master. Where are you going to explore tomorrow? What? We just finished today's exploration, and already you're talking about tomorrow's? You're getting a little ahead of yourself. And that said, I bet that tomorrow's location will be even better to us than today's. Really? Yes. Tomorrow we're going to Fortune Ravine. Rumor has it there's a lot of treasure there. Amazing! I can't wait! Let's go tomorrow! Definitely! Yeah. Will you be alright getting home from here by yourself? Yep, I'm fine. Alright, see you at my place tomorrow. And then we'll head out for Fortune Ravine. Yep! Bye bye, Master. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Same as ever. She's always so cheerful. Cheerful is good, but. She's so cheerful it tires me right out. <sighs> I should go home. I'm exhausted, but I have to admit, cheerfulness is kind of contagious. Pokemon. That Pokemon, was that? Good morning, Papa, Mama. Yep, good morning. Good morning, Izzy. <laughs> Alright, so next time, I guess we're going to Fortune Ravine. See you guys then.